John Craig's with me now. And John, first of all, uh, why did Mr. Carmichael suddenly make this submission? You mean the uh, statement today? Yeah. Well, because he's been found out, basically. What's happened is that at the time of the row, which over, broke over the Easter weekend, story appeared in the Daily Telegraph on Easter Saturday, he said, OK, I'll ask Sir Jeremy Haywood, the Cabinet Secretary, uh, to have uh, an inquiry. That has now concluded, reported today, he's been found out. And uh, the, uh, it is slightly vague, the Cabinet Office statement, because on the one hand it says that the uh, Special Advisor, Ewan Rodin, accurately recorded the conversation then there's this bit this little bit which cabinet office officials are pointing us to ah but look at the bit where it says it might have been lost in translation he's been found out he's had to hold his hands up and admit okay it was me um, at the time he in some interviews I think he was denying it um, that he's uh, going to lose some money out of this he's going to lose severance pay uh, of uh, 16,876 nearly 17,000 pounds and as you've heard from Nicola Sturgeon I can just imagine when it's the first Scottish questions or when it's the first Scottish debate in Parliament, those 56 MPs are going to absolutely savage Alistair Carmichael. He may have to make an apology in Parliament. She's saying consider his position. Realistically, he's not going to quit his seat. She talks about his majority there. She talks about how he fought the election on a false pretense because, uh, of course, of what he claimed about her. It's embarrassing. With hindsight, he probably wishes he'd held his hands up at the time and admitted, OK, yes, I did leak it. He's made matters worse now. And, of course, there are 56 uh, Scottish National Party MPs, only one of him. He's in for a rough ride when the, the Commons is back in action. But there is still, as you point out in your report, this slight question mark. Nicola Sturgeon denies it. The French ambassador denies it. The man who took the minutes uh, of the note denies it. And yet... Cameron Off is just saying, well, that's what we think uh, was reported to us as having been said. It's, the Cabinet Office report is slightly inconclusive, although they do say uh, there's no evidence of any political motivation or dirty tricks. The Cabinet Office seem to be placing the blame on this poor young special advisor. They often carry the can, don't they? Ewan Rodin um, seem to be suggesting, oh, well, he might have slightly misheard what he's told or got the wrong end of the stick or whatever. But you heard uh, the Consul General, when James Matthews, our Scotland correspondent, spoke to him at the time uh, he was disputing the Daily Telegraph story as well it should be said the Telegraph of always it stood by their story